everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new RS 24 hour endurance race Lightning McQueen. A McQueen that is using his Cars 2 mold for something that takes place after Cars 3, which is really cool. Of course it brings up a lot of continuity errors as Lightning here seems to have upgraded himself, seems to have been upgraded to be more next gen like so that he could race against Jackson Storm. Why wasn't this just done in the Cars 3 movie, if, if he could have done this the whole time? Who knows? It opens up a whole plethora of potential continuity errors. I like to think that, who knows, maybe the Piston Cup didn't allow Lightning to, to modify himself to be faster. Um, that's what I think, personally. That's like my headcanon for this. Um, I've probably thought about it way too much. In fact, this is like the fourth or fifth time I've started this review because there's so much to say about McQueen being more next-gen-like in this release. Of course, it's supposed to be a race that only next-gens could compete in, and Mattel couldn't not release a McQueen for it, you know? Um, although they chose not to release a Cruise for this series, they couldn't not put McQueen in there in some capacity. I think, though, that having a new McQueen in the Cars 2 model is really cool, regardless of what potential continuity errors it brings up. Unfortunately, the full backstory for this line is very vague. Um, we could assume RS is for Radiator Springs, I think. Early things for these cars labeled them as, like, Radiator Springs Speedway. Maybe if we get a playset for these cars, we'll know a bit more. There is a description on the back, and I'll get to that in just a minute, but it's very vague on story details. It's a shame we don't get, like, Cars tunes to accompany these toy lines. Um, because you guys have some explaining to do regarding Lightning's look here. Anyway, though, let's get started with the review. Very interestingly shaped uh, blister there. Unfortunately, nothing is molded into the sides of it like other recent series have done. We have this slogan here saying, Next Gen Color Shift Paint Job. I believe these are supposed to change, like, their shade of color depending on the lighting. Um, I believe that's what's supposed to happen. We'll see if that works. We have some nice artwork here, full package artwork of Lightning and Jackson on the speedway here, seemingly at sunset. Jackson, unfortunately, uh, he is a different color in this series. He's more of a blue, but they're just using old Jackson artwork. Meanwhile, Lightning's artwork, uh, it is Cars 2 artwork, but it's been edited and updated to fit this design. Harder, faster, sleeker. The 24-hour race is on, and these next-gen racers are ready to push themselves to the limit. Featuring Jackson Storm, Chase Race a lot, JD McPillar, and Lightning, who isn't a next-gen, but here seems to have upgraded himself. I, I really need to stop thinking about that. Um, once again, we have the RS 24-hour endurance race logo. No instructions on how the colors are supposed to be shifted, uh, unfortunately, so we'll just see how that goes. I really like all of the stadium detailing. It's really nice, and it's really a shame that we don't have some sort of Cars tune uh, to go along with this. So let's get Lightning here out of the package. By the way, for those of you wondering, these guys are made in Vietnam, who basically took over non-mainline stuff. So uh, the mainline cars are made in Thailand, and other things like these guys, XRS, um, the recent Welcome to Radiator Spring series, and the color changers are uh, made in Vietnam. So here he is out of the package. Definitely something a bit off with the facial expressions on these guys. Uh, definitely a very interesting looking variant of McQueen. I think he's really cool with this dark red. He has all this glitter on him, which is interesting. Maybe it has something to do with the color shift, which again, I don't really know how that's supposed to work. I feel like the color shift aspect of these cars was really poorly advertised. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're referring to, but I do have a theory. I actually filmed a whole uh, segment of this review where I, I put them under, uh, under my room light and I was trying to figure out what the color shift meant and then I realized something. These cars are supposed to be going for 24 hours. They're going to be racing in the day, and then they're going to be racing at night. I think the color shift refers to this. Look at Lightning now. Yeah, he has the glitter on him, but in the dark, you can't really see that. You can barely make it out, actually. But then, if you shine a light on him, look at that. 
he's all glitter. I think that's what the color shift meant. And the whole holding it up to light will make it appear differently thing. I think that's what they're referring to, that um, putting a light under these guys will have all that glitter show up. And now you can see that with the room light on, more of the glitter shows up, but not all of it. Then if we put the flashlight there, even more of the glitter shows up. I think that's what they were referring to, and I'm really sorry if I'm inaccurate on that, but again, I feel like that aspect of them was pretty poorly marketed. Um, definitely interesting, though, with how that works, and we'll have to see how shining a light on the other cars in this series uh, will affect them. As I already said, I feel like the expressions are a bit off, just in general, but Lightning looks fine. We have on his hood this RS 24-hour logo with a little stopwatch on top. The bolts are painted in black, which is interesting, and it's just really nice to get a new Lightning in the Cars 2 model uh, to begin with. We have his lucky stickers there. Maybe something different will happen to like the decals under light. No, but yeah, this is definitely what they were referring to with the color shift. Look at that. Look at how all the like sparkly parts show up. Very interesting. Moving on to the side, he actually doesn't have uh, light year tires. Or no, wait, he does. He just has the has them with the logo that the next gens have. Definitely interesting looking tires, though lightnings don't usually look like that. We do have a piston cup logo on the side alongside Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy logos that all the next gens have. So yeah, this is really their attempt at making a next gen Lightning, which again, really would be nice to have some backstory of how this, why this wasn't just done to Lightning in Cars 3 uh, to begin with. But I guess it is cool. A lot of people made like fan art or customs of a next gen McQueen or next gen Rusty's Racer. And while this technically isn't just like a regular Rusty's next gen McQueen, this is the 24-hour endurance race McQueen, it still is nice for all those people who wanted to see what Lightning would look like as a next gen. He doesn't have his signature written up top, but he does have the number 95 up there in an interesting font. We've got this very interesting Rusty's logo. We've got one lightning bolt there and like a little lightning bolt down there. Definitely interesting. We have a pretty unique spoiler with the stopwatch and RS 24 hour written on the back. The back is basically blank, aside from a 95 there, and the lights. There is his other side. Let's, you know what, let's shine a light on this side. Definitely pretty cool with how all of the sparkly parts show up. And there is his base. Lightning is definitely a darker red than usual, and Jackson Storm is like blue. This was probably done um, so that the color shift thing could work. I guess. Maybe they had to be a specific darker color. Chase Race Lot is a notably darker green as well. I don't know. We'll have to see in the coming days as I take a look at the other cars in this series. By the way, recently not only did I pick up the Endurance Racers, I also found four more color changers. Of course, you've seen one over here. This will be my next review. But with four Endurance Racers and four color changers, I really didn't know which ones to review first. So I've decided that for the next few days, as I get through these eight new cars I've gotten, I'm going to do a review of an endurance racer, then a color changer, then an endurance racer, then a color changer until I've reviewed all of them. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Definitely an interesting McQueen here from an interesting series I'm excited to see more from. And by the way, if you want to know what other cars I specifically got in my most recent haul, definitely make sure to check out my blog, link is always in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.